Hey guys, thank you so much for coming and joining today. We are gonna be going deep into a new area of law called premises liability. Basically the fancy lawyer word for slip and fall, trip and fall, and really getting hurt at a location, either your friend's house or at a business. We're gonna be going deep into different questions that I get asked all the time about premises law. But before we go into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to follow along on this journey where I will help make sure you understand all these really tricky areas of the law, but really aren't as complicated as insurance companies want you to think. How do slip and fall cases work? The first thing that you do if you slip and fall and get hurt is take those pictures because preserving the evidence is uber important when it comes to premises cases because it can come down to a he said, she said if there is not objective evidence. Take those pictures, make sure that you get a idea as to what happened. Step one, make sure you get pictures. Step two, tell the store about it. Step three, ask for an incident report. If they don't give you an incident report, they sometimes won't because think about it. You just fell on their property. The first thing they're gonna do is CYA. They're covering their own ass. They know that the last thing they want you to do is to call someone like me to go get you paid. But remember, they are not paying you personally. How does it work? The insurance companies for that building will pay you. Almost all buildings, whether it's a commercial business, whether it's just a residence like your friend's house, they all have insurance on it, whether it be going through the mortgage they pay every month or some sort of commercial liability insurance, there is plenty of money to pay you for your injuries and for your pain and suffering. So if you get a personal injury lawyer involved, they will go to the scene, preserve the evidence, write letters to make sure that if there is video, it doesn't get deleted because it actually is legal if the video is on a deletion loop. So for example, every 15 days, the videos get deleted. That is legal for it to get deleted. So if you don't call an injury lawyer immediately, that video might just get deleted and it might be gone forever. So really gotta preserve that evidence with premises cases. So really there are some benefits to premises liability cases as a plaintiff. Number one, injuries tend to be really bad Therefore, your pain and suffering is something that juries can understand. If they can understand the pain and suffering you're going through, there's a likely, a higher likelihood they're gonna compensate you for it. That's part one. Part two is that most locations have plenty of insurance. Insurance is typically a problem in personal injury cases. Now, now let me give you a different example. Let's go to a car crash. Let's say you were sitting at a stoplight, you got rear-ended, and that other driver only had $15,000 of insurance. Let's say that you broke every bone in your body. The amount of money you're getting there is $15,000 if you don't have anything on your own insurance policy. With a premises liability case, you are likely not gonna run into that type of thing. Most people have a minimum of $250,000 if it's a personal home. And if it's a commercial building, you're likely looking at at least a $500,000 policy. So don't worry about making a claim because not only are the business owners not paying for it, their insurance companies are. How does this work? You take this case to a jury and you're gonna have two questions for them to answer. Number one, liability, who's at fault? Step two, how much is it worth? If you're more than 50% at fault, you're not gonna recover anything. In some states, if you're any percent at fault, you're not gonna recover anything like Maryland, but in most states, you have the ability to bring a personal injury case and simply win on those two questions and you win your case. You win that amount of money. So other parts to how this works. Making a claim, you can make the initial app part of your claim through the insurance companies yourself, but I would strongly recommend doing that through your own personal injury lawyer. The reason why, the injury lawyer is on your side. They know the kind of games that insurance companies will play. And if you say the wrong thing to an insurance company, they're gonna lock you into a statement that they use at trial two years later. So make sure that you have a personal injury lawyer on your side 
when it comes to setting your case up, both from an investigation perspective and from a negotiation perspective. Proving your case. This isn't like sitting at a red light and getting rear-ended. It's not obvious all the time who is at fault. Sometimes you will be deemed a little bit at fault and that may hurt you in the negotiation for what your case is worth. So for example, when you're sitting at a red light and you get rear-ended, you you're not even moving, you're parked. You're 100% of the time gonna win that case. But let's go back to that grape example. The 7-Eleven manager is gonna testify and say, they saw it, I don't know why they walked over it. It's a little bit more of a he said, she said, like I said before, and it's not a 100% of the time thing that you're gonna win, but with the right personal injury lawyer, they'll set your case up to make sure that it's successful and to make sure that a jury can connect with your story. God forbid that you're ever going through something like this. Don't hesitate to get treatment. Make sure to ask for an incident report. Get pictures of that scene. And if you have the ability to, do not speak to the insurance company about your injuries. Talk to an injury lawyer. It's a free consultation. They'll make sure that you understand every part of this and that your questions are answered. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining us for this. Click below on that subscribe button and continue to follow along. I really hope that none of you slip and fall and break an arm or get hurt. But if you ever do, I'm here for you. And trust me, don't trust those insurance companies. Thanks so much.